You will enjoy this assignment. It is the most constructive that I've awarded in quite some time. With Gaul finally integrated into the Empire, we are free to expand our northern boundary to its logical extreme, Britannia. Yes, Romans have gone there in the past, but never before with the intention of establishing a permanent presence. I grant you a huge, fertile province in which to build a major port city, to be called Londinium. In keeping with the richness of this new province, I expect you to achieve very high ratings. The barbarians who live on Britannia thought their island would always keep them safe from the Roman Empire. They are likely to be very upset when they see the magnificence of Londinium. Be sure you prepare for armed resistance. Some of the tribes there are laughably weak, but the Celts might give you some trouble. Citizens of Rome, welcome back to Caesar 3, our Augustus modded playthrough where we are using forced walkers on every map and we are on Londinium expanding north. Population of 10,000, prosperity 75, favor 75, culture 75, peace 60. It's the highest ratings we've seen yet. Let's pop into the city. Ah, oh, here we are. A nice, big, open map, tons of flat land, some wolves, which we have to deal with. Uh, there they are, down there. Uh, tons of trade, some military difficulty. And the last time we were here, we built the Wealth Gap City, which was very interesting. It was tents and palaces only. Now, Retro Anomaly gifted out 50 gift subs on Twitch. Retro Anomaly, thank you so, so, so much for that really generous uh, donation, basically. Thank you so much. It's so kind of you. Retro Anomaly 13. <laughs> now, uh, we have to plan a little bit here. So, in the last playthrough, in the last playthrough, we didn't... Uh, we didn't wall in, wall in the wolves. This playthrough, I do, because I just don't want to deal with wolves. Right? Uh, now there's all this farmland, there's some wolves here as well, which... Uh, there's wolves there, there's wolves here. You know what? No, I don't I don't need to... to trap them. Yes, Fangs, thank you so much. Uh, this farmland here is probably the easiest to use, though there is a little bit of trouble with these wolves. I need to wall that off but also trap that lone one because for some reason it's not with the pack. Okay, so we could access this. Let's have a look at our raw materials. We've got clay pit, timber yard. Okay. Wheat, vegetables, pigs. So that's three types of food. Clay pit, timber yard, no oil or wine. Okay, let's look at trade. We can sell a lot of pottery, quite a lot of timber, on a land trade route. Uh, we've got a lot of weapons that can go out, but we can't produce weapons, so that's a problem. Uh, vegetables by sea, wheat by sea, so selling by sea, not that great. Quite a lot of marble is sold. We can't produce marble, but we can actually uh, import quite a bit, so we can use that. By the way, uh, Chaos Fangs again, thank you so much. Uh, I just want to do a quite a quick little announcement here. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but uh, I do want to officially announce that I set up a Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can find at gamesact.com slash coffee. And direct support from there helps reduce ads on YouTube and helps keep this channel running and allowing us to continually improve things. The big difference on Buy Me A Coffee compared to all the other platforms, um, besides also still having very low fees by the way is that money is transferred immediately whereas every other platform it usually takes a month before the money actually goes anywhere uh so i don't know how buy me a coffee really makes money by doing that but sure <laughs> gamersack.com slash coffee uh for these couple weeks uh that's particularly important because i'm on a pretty big deadline for a visa application that's stressful if you've ever been through it. Now, 
let us set up. Uh, we could build a really nice city here. I've seen a very good example of how cool cities can be on this map. I will try my best to make something interesting. But right from the get-go, I'm just going to start simple. I'm going to use this road here, do a nice little rectangle. And I'm going to do... Uh, forced walkers and stuff later. I keep trying to do forced walkers right from the start. It doesn't work out very well. It doesn't work out very well. So let me just do this. Let me just do this. Get this set up kind of okay. Uh, yeah, let's... We can just pop that there. Nice. Uh, fountain to cover all of this. Yep. I think that's correct. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna get that started. Let's have people move in. <sighs> Try to build a nice city. You'll be living there for at least a year. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, for those wondering, the visa is for us to go to Londinium. Uh, that's actually a coincidence. I did not plan that. <laughs> um, cool. Let's do that. Now, I, I do want to set up... Um, things very efficiently here for uh, the pottery export particularly. We want to max that as quickly as possible. We can sell, I think that's 40 units a year, right? Who sells... Does anyone sell iron? Oh yeah, we sell... Lindum sells iron. Right. Uh, let's, let's just really blast up on pottery, shall we? Uh, how far away can this go? Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. We can sell 40 pottery a year. So the more the better, right? Because surplus will just go to the city anyway. But if each one produces four point something a year, right? Uh, so if each pottery workshop produces four, we'll need 10 pottery workshops, which means we'll need five clay pits. Okay, correct. So we do this. I can do that. One, two, three, four. No, we have to clear that. Do this. Uh, we just need engineers posts on this one. So let's do that. Before I forget, let's throw an engineers post on this block as well. I should also throw down a doctors. Maybe a couple doctors. To make sure people don't get sick. Okay, you're all moving in. Uh, let me then go workshop, pottery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roadblock there, roadblock there set up a warehouse right here that actually works out nicely warehouse right there that makes sense like that this is going to be allowing traders and accepting just pottery so that's maybe excessive but we're gonna do that uh let's get the basic temples down. It'll help evolve these houses as well. Help deal with some desirability issues. Get things evolved. There we go. I remembered the gods! <laughs> uh, he doesn't need us anymore. We've got a new animated gods emote in chat, but... You know, we're just going to focus on this for now. Uh, we should prioritize workers to water and engineering before anything. Uh, also, uh, governance and religion. Because we're almost in debt now. This, this should max our pottery exports, which will fund the rest of our cities. Right? I just wonder how much housing with the new housing advisor. Total capacity... Available capacity 500. We need 100 workers. So yeah, we've got enough people moving in now. So we should be good to go. 
right? This should just allow us to max that. Uh, I don't think we can sell timber, right? I think the caravans might be maxed out. If I see some caravans not buying pottery and there's actually enough caravans, I'll sell timber. Otherwise, we need to sell... There's actually no real good other export. A bit of wheat, a bit of vegetables, which I guess we could... If I just go ahead and trap these guys down here. I could set up... I think this this is a dead end, right? Yeah, the ships spawn here. So if I can get a dock... Somewhere down here near the... The entrance. Did they make it so that it cannot be like that? Oh, they made it so the nearest dock can be like down here. That's kind of hmm. weird. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. A thousand. Not a lot. Not a lot. The difficulty is pretty high. I just want to make sure we are on very hard. Yes. So we just need people to move in and pottery to explode. And then once that's going, we can start building our city for real. And then I'm going to try plan some... Like, there's just a lot of open space here. So there's all this farmland here, which we could use very nicely. Um, so I could plan for a forced walker start to be here. But then we can just start building in any direction, in any shape we like. So I kind of want to try just do something that looks kind of grand. Uh, we shot 19 employees. Okay, we see all the clay going into the workshops now. Should be good, should be good. Let's get employment down. We gotta wait for some pottery. Money's going down, yep. When's pottery coming in? Soon, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. We just shot three workers now with some employees coming in. Okay, now with some pottery coming in, we will open this trade route. It costs 500. And we begin exporting all the pottery we can. Because we're kind of broke. Mm -hmm. First trader into the city. I've heard there are jobs here. Not you. A good day to you. you. Can I interest you in some top quality goods? Two pottery goes out. Okay. Now, I don't know the frequency of caravans here. Oh, but we should break this road so that caravans don't follow the road through everything. They'll take the shortest route. Right now, the road is pretty much the shortest route. But okay, there we go. Money's coming in. We're starting to get unemployment, so we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, so I guess we can... These wolves are trapped. I can go ahead and start busting through this area here. And begin farming. How's this? Yeah, farms can go quite a ways onto these trees. So we want to make sure we... I like keeping it kind of natural looking, though. So I'm just gonna... Do that but we do want efficiency so i can start for example if i just try keep things in straight lines maybe it'll work out okay then we do this and then i have a granary and then this is roadblocked there we have an engineer's post here Now, if I want to do forced walkers... I need the... Granary to be accessible from the southern road. So I actually need this area slightly open. So this is the southern road, and then... Get used to the pass. And then this is the northern road. 
Right, so this is the southern road, this is the northern road of our forced walker. And we will be needing basically all of this. Don't release the wolves, though. Money will come in. So now we can plan... But well, the road can actually extend through the granary. No problem, right? That can actually... Yes. So this is the forced walker area. A little close to the edge of the map, but we'll worry about that later. Okay. This is the essence of our accepting wheat. Okay, just get some people in there. And we can deal with the unemployment by just boosting up wheat. Right? I think this works, and this market is going to be trading wheat. Now, we need to design our city. We've got forced walkers, we can go anywhere we like. I should probably get a javelin fort or something, right? To deal with any potential invasions. I always tend to build forts outside the city on an edge, but I kind of like having them in the middle of the map. So I think I will have some kind of military base in the middle of the city and then have like the forced walkers go all over the place around the military base. That that sounds cool, right? That sounds cool. Are we selling lots of pottery? Gotta wait for the caravans to get out, I think. And then caravan spawn. There can only be so many caravans on a map at the same time. Would it be possible to shorten their path if I bridge over? Like I can bridge here. And then I can bridge here. And that will shorten the traders' paths. Right? So if I bridge there... Is there a way to walk here? There is. Yeah, then I just bridge here. Costs a little bit. But now the caravans should be able to go the shortest route straight across these islands. Right? Good. Also, this allows me to go ahead and set up... Wheat, vegetables, pigs, road, granary, road, engineer's post, supply post. This granary for the supply on all three things. Holding eight of each. So our soldiers will have three types of food. Sounds good. Good. <laughs> Chat saying we are redundant. You don't have to remind me of anything anymore. Okay, so hopefully this speeds up uh, caravan movement. We're a little short on employees, so I should actually... I know there's a mothball option here, which I guess I will do, but it's just, it's hard to tell that they're not running, right? Because there's no graphic for them being off. So at a glance, it's hard to tell. That's why I always delete buildings. Uh, okay, money's coming in. Uh, what I want to do is have a javelin fort 
rotated. And I'm going to have like a military base right here in the middle. And we're going to build around it, I think. It could also be on the left side here. But I think I'm feeling having a military base right here. Right, so I'm going to start with a javelin fort. I'm going to need a barracks. Which I'll just pop right here. Right? So you can that get that going. The caravans are still walking this way. Is it not a quicker route to go this way? They can get through, right? They can get through there. Wouldn't it be quicker to do this? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, well we're starting to train up some people. So then I'm going to mothball this, mothball that, and make sure we have... So I want to actually... I, I want to design a military base eventually, but for now... You know, once we have more infinite money. For now I'm just gonna put the military academy, costs a thousand. But it's a new year for trading, so I'm just gonna pop that down. Pa. Okay, we got our pa. Uh, maybe they, the caravans will walk this way if I build a road. That would actually work, right? See, they're going this way. I assume that's the shortest way, but... If I break that road, maybe that's... Oh, it's because this is blocked! So if they come out from here, we should actually want them to go straight through like that. It's blocked by trees, that's why they're not coming this way. Okay, 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 okay. got it, got it, got it. Uh, enemies closing. All right, so we're going to need some soldiers. Now, I want to build some extravagant housing block, which consists of some straight roads. So it's not going to be a natural city. It's going to be housing blocks. Uh, not blocks, but housing roads, which has some design to it, well, or just some changes to it. And then we're gonna fill... Spirals? Spirals are good. But I think instead of doing specific spirals or anything like that, I should try and... just make a gorgeous city. Right? The UK flag? Nah. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make a good looking city somehow. And it's gonna take some experimentation. So I'm gonna have this sort of be. the idea here. And that's our forced walker block. Number one, right? It's not any particular shape. It's not a set of words and letters. It's... Just something that, you know, a city would build. But we're gonna try and make it look good. Giraffe block. It kind of looks like a giraffe, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm a little concerned about... Um, money and military. Okay, it's July. Twenty-four. So I want to make sure 
we have two javelin forts. That should be able to hold off things, right? We're going to have two javelin forts. And then we're going to start building our city. So I'm going to have a row of houses here. We're going to need to get water over to so the reservoir. Needs to be like that. This road, to even it out, I'm going to do that. Aqueduct will come out over to a blessing from Neptune. Smooth passage for traders. So there's going to have a reservoir here. What's our favor? 31. I should try avoid going into debt. By the way, are the traders going this way now? Yes, they are. Okay. So we've shortened the trader exit route. I gotta check at the end of this year if we are maxing our pottery sales. Like, we can't really sell much more. Oh, it is maxed, so we can actually sell some timber. There's like one trader's worth of timber. So if I set this to accepting 24 and I set this to accepting 8, and then I have. Like a, two timber yards, two timber yards with an engineer's post, so we can just get some timber going out. Uh, yes, this one. Would that be okay? Maybe just one timber yard. Okay, just one timber yard. So these people are moving in. We're gonna want to have an engineer's post and a roadblock to keep them there. And then we're gonna want a doctor to keep them alive. Okay, now that's spawning on the wrong side. We need to roadblock there instead. Okay. Also, this needs to be roadblocked there. So how is this market not collapsed? Oh, that engineer's post is actually covering it. Okay, that makes sense. Because we actually need an engineer's post going up that way as well to cover that. Okay, forced walker seems to be working. I don't think it's too long. It's long, but it's not too long. This city is so dull, I've had patients ask me if I can cure chronic boredom. Let's keep the aqueducts in straight lines. So let's plan for some passage through it there. Just in case they invade from the west and we need to run over. Fountains. Can go here. Here. Okay, this road shortened to there. Good. Uh, we should probably start. That needs desirability, right? Let's just plaza it first. Then we are going to scatter temples. So we're going to want have them at the back. Yes. So there. So place them periodically. I guess it doesn't matter too much, right? So 
series, Neptune. Okay, we're gonna be invaded. We've trained up almost two forts of trained javelins, which have well fed with three types of food. So they're pretty strong. I want these priests to actually randomize a little bit. They wander around a bit, and then they get forced. And Venus. Okay, so all of that will go out. They also need to have a library, and then I will have a theater here, and an actor colony here. Okay. good as these houses evolve then we'll be able to start demolishing this block here or maybe we'll maintain that block i don't know either or we, we have a lot of money where'd i get all this money from well we can finish up our javelin forts And I can design our military base. So what I want is to have a road circling this. It's going to have line one, two. Ten pottery. Okay, I should set this to export over ten then. I'm gonna decorate this properly, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and a space. Okay, so this is gonna be the beginnings of our military base. I could probably get away with just, just javelins, right? I could probably get away with that. Did we finish this? 16, yes. Good. So that's two javelin forts. Nice. Okay, force walkers. We're getting up to small casa here. Nice. I can... Just have more houses. So I want houses to just go all the way along here. on the inside of things. Right? And an engineer's post there. Roadblock there. And a doctor's. Imperial dispatch ready. Let's send that request. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty nice block. Let's get some fountains going. So that's covering there. I can. A thousand people. Nice. You can do fountain. Fountain. We're gonna need another reservoir over here. Blessing from Mercury. Great. For decoration. We got lots of fountains. I think one house is technically not covered, but we'll see how the shapes evolve, right? That's gonna bring in a lot of people. We can start unmothballing these farms. Okay, almost a third fort of javelins. Because importing iron for weapons might take a while. Uh, I should double up the farms here, though. Let's go 
wheat, vegetables. Okay, good. Yeah, we don't need this connected action. That's fine. So double our food for our soldiers. Make sure I can keep up with the forts. Destination Walker working out great. We'll need to plaza the whole thing. Can I afford this? Yes. Get us to small casas. Then we'll. Well, I think I'll. I will get rid of this block here. Uh, in terms of... Marble is from a sea trade route or a land trade route? Land trade route. From here, Kaleva. I should prepare for that. Oh. Right, Marble's not there yet. Okay, that's fine. Collapsed building. So oh, is that not connected to a road? So it's not. can keep people happy with this as well. Gladiator school. There we go. More entertainment. Waiting for more money to come in. gonna do this okay food seems to be keeping up. some desirability problems no it's no problem yeah so as people move in I want to get rid of these tents okay okay I think Rome pays more wages by one. I think it's starting to come together. How many luxury palaces on this map? I did 24 last time. You don't need 24, but you can have 24. There we go. It's all evolving nice. It's April, so we're probably selling some timber. Yeah, we're selling some timber. Just because we went, we, we had a surplus uh, caravan. Now where? Here? Perfect. Let's zoom out. Tactical mode. Is that it? That's it? Okay. <laughs> Everyone go back. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Uh, what are we doing? So we're trying to make more money. I feel like there should be more exports. But it's okay. Let's open this trade route so that we can start importing like four marble. Not a lot, not a lot. And 
They're accepting marble. That that's gonna be our source of marble. Okay. Uh lots of unemployment, so let's get rid of Yeah, I think we can clear this whole area now. This area is dead to me. Okay, we went into debt to just kick everyone, all the tent dwellers out of our city. So, what else do we need? Do we need more food? I kind of want to have just like a long... Let me see. One, two, one, two... I actually want this road to be a little over. See, as we build, we start to adjust how we build. And he's come in, great. I want this road to do, be here. Okay, so I'm sort of trying to make a city that kinda looks nice, but is also very functional, right? So I'm sort of going with the flow with no particular plan, but as we keep going, it gets like a little better, a little better, a little better, you know? Uh, now. If I wanted to have this be a military fort, I actually do want to build a wall around it. And then like houses are on the outside here, we could have another forced walker block using the farmland from here. Getting all of this food out onto the mainland can be a little tricky though. 10% unemployment, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, favors 35. It's okay. Let's just boost food production because it's actually looking kind of low. Can I... This road can loop round, right? Yes. That's okay, right? That's not going to break anything. I think that's okay. There's quite a lot more farms though. Uh, some people might be upset because they're not fully evolved. So I think it's decoration time. <laughs> what was that? That makes sense, yes. Decoration time. Yeah, this shouldn't break because the forced walkers are going along this road and there's no reason to go up that way. As long as this road doesn't connect to this road, we're okay. So this road is off limits, but this road is okay. Oh, the gods are unhappy, right. Uh, I'm going to need to throw down just some small temples here. until I get the monument building set up. I think we did import some marble. Yes, we imported some marble. I didn't drop my salary. You know, let's send a gift. And drop our salary to 12. Okay. That will keep Caesar happy and off our backs. Okay, money's coming back in. Food should start coming back in. I'll set that to getting. That just needs to be roadblocked, because... Where 
was the engineer on this part? I think this engineer is being weirdly forced. Or something. It's that guy, is it? See, there's two engineers on this road. There should only be one. So oh yeah, it is that guy. He's being forced for some reason. Okay, fine. Okay. Money for decorations. Money for decorations. Let's see. Let, what, what do we have? What do we have? We gotta build some stuff. Let's try and make this look good. So hedgerows are always good for a base. So let's go to parks. Let's go to a verdant hedge. Now, do we want hedgerows, then trees, colonnades? So, I think... Hmm. I think the hedgerows along the houses feels good. I think that looks good. Uh, there's also some interesting techniques, for example, if you go for paths and then go for, for example, fur paths, you can have some nice looking things which are sort of randomized around the fountains like this. Right? So the trees are sort of messed up on the paths by doing this. And then we can go to... We want more trees. What else we got? Uh, we've got looped garden walls. The colonnades are always good. Dispatch that request, no problem. But we've also got some good statues. We can throw down equestrian statues. Ooh, equestrian statue right here in the middle of these four fountains makes sense. Bam. Uh, parks. Marble columns. The colonnades. I've been told colonnades around the reservoirs actually kind of nice i'm unsure if i prefer that or to maybe just tree it up no not trees not trees there is the looped garden wall now that doesn't quite go does it okay. this is the real game now with augustus how do you decorate your city Colonnades have to go somewhere. Oh, I think I just send the colonnade around this thing here. Yes, that that's that's working right there. Okay, good. Uh, then we can have the fir trees like that. Ah, my governor's think money grows on trees. No, 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 no. Money grows trees. See, that's the misunderstanding here. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money grows trees. Okay? Uh, so that looks fantastic. That's good. Now, how do I flesh out the rest of this? Uh, we could be building mini monuments like oracles and things. Uh, alternatively, we have... We have, like, these things we could construct. But I don't know if I want to be constructing this stuff in here. It's kind of weird. There's room for something interesting there, though. Those 3 by 3 tiles. If I just move this Mercury Temple to somewhere else... Okay, we've got these two 3x3 three three tiles, and I know desirability is lowered by some of these things, but I want to build whatever looks best. Uh, so we have the large mausoleum. Two large mausoleums could be good there. We have so much unemployment. Let's get rid of those tents. So I'm going to want to reconnect this road and connect to this road. Make sure no one's walking down that way. This is fine. Yes. So that 
provides access. November. So are we maxing pottery exports still? No. See, I'm selling a little bit of timber and we're now not maxing pottery exports. So, but I think this is still the most worth it. Because if we have one more trader come in, which I don't know if we can. That's a lot of traders. A good day to you. A good day to you. Ah, I don't know why I bother with this. Ah, I don't know why. Ah, I don't know why I bother with this route. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell me. Okay, fine. I think whatever we do in this section of the city is going to set the tone for the rest of Londinium, right? So I, I think it's important that we do this. Now, uh, I'm going to set up a bit more of an industry here. Because we need a warehouse to hold, not accessed by traders, uh, clay and timber. And then we go an extra clay pit because I think we're still surplusing some there and an extra timber yard and make sure it doesn't collapse so then we have everything we need for no, we need a architects guild and a work camp, right? That will use up some of the employment. And then, I know this is bad for desirability, but I kind of want to build these things. Maybe not, no, no, not the mausoleum. I think I want the other thing. This costs 500. Let's get that going. <laughs> so, we can always dump other desirability things. I think food is keeping up. Food is surely teleporting. I want this whole road here to have a whole row of houses, right? That's the plan there, once we need, we get more people. So we'll be able to construct that. We should see some... Yeah, there we go. This is disgraceful. I've never seen so many plebs out of work. Uh, out of work plebs. I guess we can just boost... Um, have another granary here. Set this to not allowing anyone. Accepting wheat. So we have a road coming out here, which is road blocked. And this road extends out like that. And then we just have more farms. Engineer's post. Okay to boost up food production even more. Morboda, thank you so much. Happy end of Pride Month. Happy end of Pride Month, everyone. Now, our people are on a 100% wheat bread diet. I'm not sure how much you can do with just wheat. This should get the gods happier as well, right? Because the gods aren't too happy right now. Uh, I should probably start putting down large temples. Right at key locations in the city. this mercury temple always in the way so if i do large temple to series i want it here or here i 
something here. If I get these large temples down, then we can be keep the gods happy for quite a while. How much do each of these cost? 150 each? Really? Okay. So let's go... Series. Let's go... Neptune. Let's go... Mercury. Can I undo that Neptune? Move this to there, move this to there. Get rid of this, shift this roadblock over to there. Get rid of that plaza up to there. And then we go large temple. We're gonna do Neptune and then we're gonna do Mercury, right? Okay, we're under attack. The gods are getting happier, you see that? We finished our thing. So I want that there. I want Neptune here. And then I want to have. Ooh. We could have Mars and Venus in the military complex, which makes sense, right? But how? How do I want it? Centralized offset like this. Here. Thing like this. Mars and Venus. I don't know if they need. Oh, the road goes into them. Look at that. I don't know if they need this, but I'm just gonna do that for now. Also. Gatehouse. Is there a center point between these two? Not really. So the gate needs to be on this side, I think. Yes, there. Okay. Now, where are we being invaded from? Here? Okay. <laughs> Let's fight. Okay, so we have our... Rome pays more wages. Uh, we have our military camp coming up as well. Up to 35, jeez. Um, I should probably try to tax these people. If I just do that, we can start taxing them a little bit. Because we're kind of broke, because we're buying marble, I think. Uh, it is end of the year. 
We did max pottery and we're selling some timber. Timber and clay boosting up here. That's okay. Uh, we're going to slowly... Okay, I'm going to stop buying marble because that's a bit extreme right now. Our debt. I think I got to set, set up these trade routes for the food. Let's get out of debt first. Favor's a little low. Let's just send another gift before we get into trouble. Okay. The Grand Temples will slowly come through. We have our Nymphaeum here. Once the Grand Temples are down, I can get rid of the Small Temples. Which saves us levy cost. Uh, though I think, yeah, we should still set up these food exports. Taxes, let's put it up to 8%. Are these two forums covering everything? Close enough. I think one house is... I'm not sure if that's... being hit. Yeah, tax collectors will walk pretty far for the money. Okay, so that's taxing our whole population, which probably does help. Uh, series is down, so let's get rid of the series small temple. I don't know what order they'll come in, but it covers 3,000 people each, so it'll be good. It'll be good. It's worth it. It's very worth it, actually. Uh, we need more clay. Okay, we are out of debt, so in that case, I'm going to set up... So the closest a dock can be down here is here. Is that usable? Can have a, uh, a road can't come through here. No, so the dock has to be here. So I can have a dock there. And then I need a ship bridge going across. Oh, there. Okay. No. So actually. Have that. I can have a low bridge to save a lot of money because ships don't need to cross beyond here. I have a low bridge there. And then I just need a warehouse here. And we can sell what? Vegetables and wheat? Two vegetables, one wheat. For ship traders, wheat, vegetables, half, half. Two vegetables, one wheat. So wheat, wheat, vegetables. Okay. This road needs to do that. Send this request. Okay, so now we can stockpile wheat and vegetables and then export that. And it's as close as it can get to the entry point, so we should have no problem having turnover to try and max that. Okay, uh, any other grand temples? Mars is down, so let's get rid of the Mars small temple. They'll slowly come through. Okay, clay is stockpiling nicely. Good. Should I fit one more pottery workshop? Wheat, vegetables.
Okay. We're kind of broke. And I need money to open the trade routes. As the city grows, uh, we are running out of things. Uh, there's not enough marble to continue building things. Fave is at 51. So, you know, I could go into debt to open this. I'm in debt. Okay, so let's go into debt to just open these trade routes. Yeah. There. We go into pretty big debt, but I'm going to uh, just try and maximize things here. There's the two trade ships. They only have to go to here. I really don't think it can be closer. Because the roads can't go down there. And I don't think bridges can cross over. I mean, we could cross a bridge there, but then it can't reach. No, nothing can be here. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> okay, so we can sell 25 vegetables a year and 15 wheat a year. I don't know how much food is produced per farm. But two wheat fields don't feel like it's enough for 15. It's, is it five each? So, should it be like this? So we have five vegetable farms, three wheat farms. That makes sense. It's December now, so we should be able to just see if this maxes things out next year. I mean, besides that, uh, is it worth importing iron to sell weapons? Let's have a look at the prices. So buyers pay 60 for iron. Sellers receive 180 for weapons. It is worth it. One farm produces 9.6 cartloads a year. Really? That much? 9.6? So I was actually right the first time. Two to three. I'll let this max out first. Uh, do we have 12 vegetables? 10 vegetables. Two to three. I actually estimated correctly. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> okay, so with taxes coming in and a new source of exports, taxes yield only about 1,200. Uh, people are indifferent to me already, probably because of the unemployment. Uh, I needed to... I just need... Okay, now I need to... I still have unemployment, so I should set up... The weapons export facility. So I need a warehouse to import iron. Yeah. Set this for land traders to buy iron. 16. And set this to accepting weapons as well. 16. Then I throw down weapons workshops. We can sell how much? We can import 25, we can sell 40. So we can sell 25. So we need one, two, three, four, five. 
That should be able to process 25, right? So then we import max, export over zero. Okay, so we're gonna buy iron, which will cost a little bit up front. But then when we sell the weapons, it'll be good. That dealt with our unemployment problem as well. We're down below 10%. And then I think that's the most money we can be making. <laughs> Getting past the money problem is gonna be a problem, but we should be maxing food exports though. And I don't think this can be more efficient. Eleven out of fifteen, nineteen out of twenty-five, and it's June. Yeah, so we've just imported a whole bunch of iron. And we're not massively in debt. We're just a little bit in debt. But we can now start manufacturing weapons. So I need five or six weapons workshops. Five or six weapons workshops. To process 25 iron per year. I have a feeling it's six. Okay, f five should be fine, right? I guess. I'll do six. We'll do six. Just to clear more of the iron out. Yeah, one workshop produces 4.8 per year. Yeah, it's 24, 24 a year with five, so I think we'll do six and there'll just be an idle workshop once in a while. Okay, so our decoration journey continues. This is the the avenue to get into the military compound. Oh, Venus was done. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we're going to continue importing marble. But you know, let's keep it at two at a time. Right? Let's let's not rush marble right now. We don't have the money to do that. I think we got to get to higher level housing and really utilize taxes. Food supply here looks good. Uh, so I could continue and do my last row of housing for this block, which would be good, maybe. Uh, I should try and keep people happier first, I think. So let's go ahead and throw down an arena. And a lion house. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, right. Weapons will be deposited into the barracks first. Sold a couple weapons. Alright, we're starting to turn a profit. Some marble came in. Uh, no, not, not a house. We don't need these slightly lower level houses. No entertainment. Huh. Right, because it's a one by one off a corner. Here. So before I forget. No house for you then, I guess. Uh, I will put instead... You know, I'll just leave it blank. Maybe the houses will evolve. That's quite a lot. Since that is quite a lot. I'm going to kite, just to make this a little bit more efficient. almost got us. We need more military. Gotta get out of debt first, though. 
<sighs> I love coming here. Bah! I don't know why I bother with this route. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell me. How do we get more money on this map? There's <laughs> so little money. Where is the marble going? But oh, these take four marble each? Oh, I see. See that? Everything seems to be working well here. Sometimes walkers just go wherever they like. <laughs> Favors down to 33. Let's send a gift. <laughs> Keep favor at 40 until we can stabilize things. Okay, we're trying to sell all the weapons we can. It's February, so it's a new year. All the weapons workshops are running. Is this the last? No, no. There's two more. Two more. This is the second last one. Temple of Mercury is going up next. Gods are pretty happy, so the large temples are functioning. What is this engineer Everything doing? Everything seems to be working well here. Where is he supposed to be? Who is this guy? Oh, these are gonna collapse? Oh, that's bad. Is he from here? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand where he's from. <laughs> it's a spy from Emperor. Build lighthouse and caravan, sorry, that should solve the money problem. Oh yes, I forgot about those buildings. Ten furniture. Lighthouse and caravan, sorry. That's a good point. We can do that. Okay, we just sold some weapons. That's good. Uh... So the lighthouse... Well, Cavern Sarai makes more sense, right? A lower price... Uh... Uh... So the Cavern Sarai needs to be near the food source so we want it to be you know that granary preferably or we set it up down here with a different food source i guess it makes more sense to have the cat oh. might need that farmland that's why I mean, money's looking much better now. So let's maintain our marble imports to four so we can keep things going. Uh, Mercury is down, so let's do that. So just Neptune left. The gods should be pretty happy after this if we continue to just build these things. Let's build another one of those. Keep the gods happy as they go along. Employment... Can I afford to do this? How much will it cost to fill this out? A thousand? Do it. How much will it cost to fill this out? A thousand. Do it. Also, let's get a legionary fort.
facing this way. Is that how I want it? Yeah. I want it to be... Even if it's like that, that won't work. So it's got to be one off like that. Okay, we'll get some legionaries in. We spent all our money. It'll be worth it, I'm sure. Now, fountains can actually go on this other side. So let's have these set up like that. Neptune, large temple is down. Okay. Let's go back to not buying mob. <laughs> Let's stop that. Stop that now. Uh, we've already bought four marble. It's okay. Uh, so we're gonna have... Yeah, that engineer's going down that way. This engineer's gonna go down that way. We also need a doctor and to roadblock that. I don't know if the engineers cover the whole thing. I think they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Don't know if the doctors cover the whole thing. Let's check health, clinics, uh, this area. Not everyone's covered. Because this guy seems to dislike walking sometimes. I actually need another doctor, like, right there. And yeah. Okay. That will slowly come down. All right. Gods are all happy. Great. Uh, food supply. I don't know if we have enough to keep up with this many houses, but this is all the housing I want in this block. Right. We're out of debt. Favor is thirty-nine. We need to start storing furniture, so we're gonna need a. warehouse here for furniture workshop furniture three thousand people We're going to a third of the way to our target. Okay. Uh, unemployment's going to go way up with this. Uh, food, we might need more. I have this road go out. I can roadblock there. And then have an engineer's post here. I can clear these trees. Have this road go down like this, but don't touch anything. <laughs> to keep the food coming. Morboda, thank you so much for the tribute. Check your treasury overseer. <laughs> See total income, expenses. I'm just building a ton. I was rich for a while and then I spent it all. 81%. All right, the new people aren't paying taxes. So like last year, taxes in, trade receipts. 
uh, imports are 4,000, wages are 3,5, construction is 4,6, right? So the balance was minus 1,000. I spent 4,600 on construction. 1,000 in building levies is pretty hefty. Uh, but that reminds me, I need to start farming. do that first. Okay, money is coming back in. I do want to... Uh, do the similar thing with the paths, which I used here. Because I like the theme going like this. Can't quite do it there, but... You get the idea. Okay. We're starting to get some... Oh, right. Also, we're not selling the most of our weapons because we are using the weapons. Right? With this legion. Kind of important, but... I did want to build a wall around this, but I don't know if I can. Maybe I'll make something work, right? Eh, something. Okay, uh, food supplies looking okay so far. We're gonna need hedgerows. How much will it cost to hedge the whole thing? 672? Do it. <laughs> That'll get the houses evolved as well, all up to small casa. Yes, good. So we're at small casa for everyone. That was a pa. Okay, not bad, pretty good. This is getting us to, if I look at the housing advisor, 4,500 population. So we're approaching halfway. Halfway to our target population. And I think it's looking okay, but I just don't have the money to keep decorating. Uh, we do need to, for example, get the caravanserai down. Which I guess I could just set it up right here. That's, that's fine. That'll actually help, right? Plop down the caravans. And it's gonna need a granary right next door. Which... I don't know what I need to allow. Market traders? I think? What does this need? Quite a lot of everything. Okay. I think we need to allow market traders. <sighs> Alright. Uh, taxes. Everyone being taxed. Yes. These houses pay so little tax, it hardly seems worth my time. Okay. Uh, how long since the last gift? 22 months? Yeah, let's keep Caesar happy. We've almost got enough furniture to send that as well. Yeah, if I could just decorate this whole thing, it would look so good. It would look so good. Uh, the priests... Split up a bit? Yeah. Also, the Grand Temples are sending out their own walkers, right? 
Imperial Dispatch ready. Send request. Great. Now we're in debt. Uh, is our Legion fleshed out? Yes, so the weapons should start going out again. It's February. I look at... Yeah, we gotta make money. We've just been spending so much. Just means I need to stop spending. <laughs> I know. Uh, favors 48. That'll keep me okay for a little while. So here comes the iron. This uh, pottery trader? No. Yeah, I, I need some trade policies to to balance this out. Uh, oh, right, I can also destroy that. Okay, so we've got uh, one small temple to each god, one large temple to each god, and that's keeping them all happy, I think. Well, we've got four. Who's who's not happy happy? Mars? Why is Mars not happy happy? We've also got technically two oracles. We're out of debt. Nice. I don't know why. No, I love coming We sold here. three weapons. Business is going very well. We need two more marble for the caravanserai. Okay, so building a grand temple is probably going to be a good choice here. What is going to give me more money? I assume Mercury. I assume Mercury. But I am unsure of what Mercury does. Or does Nep Neptune? Will Neptune help? Because trade. Who's better at making money with a grand temple? I've got this epic road here, so I can totally build things along here. Mercury? Mercury might help. So, Grand Temple. I can only build two. Should I also have a Pantheon? Can I have my luxury palaces here? It's generally easier to have luxury palaces on that but we're not doing easy we're doing what looks good pantheon would help with luxury palaces because it helps evolve houses so if i build the pantheon here i could technically have a pantheon walker along here and i could then have luxury palaces along a road in this area using food from over here on this particular island to to feed just luxury palaces. Pantheon right here. Yes, Pantheon right here. Uh, but I need money first. So I build Mercury here. I have not saved the game. <laughs> That's a good point. So let's do Grand Temple, Mercury. Bless your industry. 
Mercury makes the most money, right? I, I can't remember the, the epithets. Alternatively, I focus on luxury palaces first. In which case, I build the Pantheon first. I think we go for a high level housing. Because that taxes does definitely make money. So let's do Pantheon right here. Do these need an engineer's post? It's going to take a lot of marble, so it's going to be expensive. Why isn't this... Oh, I've stopped importing marble. Right. Monuments don't collapse or catch on fire. Okay. Alright, so good time to start importing marble. Uh, I do want to halt construction first. Wait for the caravanserai to finish. We have a surplus of pottery and clay. Okay. Yep, there's the marble. That will allow us to finish our caravanserai. The lighthouse for the sea trade route, uh, not so great because we're only selling some food. It's not worth all that much. But with this here, what I need to do uh, is I need that road blocked and that road blocked. So that's going to be there. So this is going to send out a walker that evolves houses. Um, I guess the luxury palaces... Do we want the luxury palaces on a forced loop? Is that even possible with the Pantheon helping as well? I... Can Grand Temples be forced walkered? Do they follow the same rules? People have said that you can force walker them. Okay. So if there's a road like here and a road like here and if I break that road, as long as I'm not building any monuments over there, it's okay. Is this now forced walker? No, no, it's not, obviously. Um, it spawns on the southern side. And it walks around like this. So, I will just need to see if... I will just need to see if this is a forced grand temple. Is that correct? I think that's correct. I think I'm just not force walking food unless I can send a market in from some other angle. Like if I use farmland here force just a market to be sent down this way then come back is that even possible i don't think so uh is it possible to get food here i guess it kind of is 
It, it shouldn't be strained too much because we're it's just for luxury palaces, so it's okay. Uh, if I then, for example, is the caravanserai done? Yes. So let me resume construction of this. It's not been accepting this whole time. Okay. Um, trade policies. Uh, landed sellers policy. Land exports earn 20% more, but imports are 10% more expensive. Land imports are cheaper, but exports earn less. Quantity policy. Trade caravans carry four additional goods, but the caravanserai consumes more food. Is the extra goods worth it to just sell timber? I don't think so. I think the price being better is better. Because this land exports and 20% more will increase the exports price for weapons, pottery, and timber. Import of iron is a little higher, but that's it. Yeah, let's do that. Why is this food not... Why is it... I'm confused. Maybe it's a road thing? They went to distant granary because this one wasn't accepting wheat. Oh right, because it's connected. Which it is no longer connected. No, it is still connected. It is still connected, yeah, they walk through there. So these areas are still connected, but this is gonna be like a... A local forced loop right because if I look at this if I just for example put a library there that's gonna be forced walker right and along with the pantheon These guys? With unemployment as high as it is, I'm working hard to keep my job. Why? With unemployment as high who, who, who? Caravan suppliers. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Do I need this road connection? No, right? Not anymore? Okay, break the road connection and solve the problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's very confusing. Okay, weed's coming in now. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, disconnecting this is very important, yes. Uh, okay. So this is slowly getting the marble it needs. Money is looking okay. So I just need to figure out how am I going to feed these luxury palaces. I suppose technically we won't need to have the markets force walkered, but it would probably help. So if there is, for example, the market right there. Oh, 
we actually got a lot of money. Nice. Uh, this area needs pottery. No, that doesn't make sense. What we need is a warehouse here. Directly across from the market. Just getting pottery. And then we have a warehouse here. Just for furniture. And then I can set up a furniture industry right here. Oh, there's a request for furniture? is covered as well so then we go to workshop furniture spread out because why not okay so that's going to provide furniture this is getting pottery uh, we can make pottery much closer if I produce it here, right? So if I clear off these trees, I can produce pottery right here. Pottery. I'm moving these two over like this. So then this can get pottery from there. We'll have a separate market for pottery and furniture. And then we just need to throw down a bathhouse. And that should get these houses evolved, even though we have plenty of unemployment already. This pantheon is coming along. Um, this is a force walker loop. Okay, so this is where our luxury palaces are gonna go. It's a bit of a weird setup. How are we suddenly so rich? Just the caravan thing did that? That surprisingly works out correctly. Okay, that, that looks nice. Yes, good. Uh, now that we're rich, we can just do whatever we want. Bam. Um, so I wanted to flesh out military. So let's go military, military. Uh, we can have just normal gardens around. Because it doesn't block things. Statues, equestrian statue. No, I think that doesn't quite work. Instead, I do it like that. Yes, okay, good. And then we have. We're under attack. Engineers post for the new pottery area. Ah, yes, thank you. 
Increased trading of oil. Okay, so first thing, before I forget, engineer's post for that area. Now, these guys. Let's get them there. Should be okay. Okay. Soldiers strong. Feed them lots of food. How is there? Diet. Still fleshed out. Okay, good. Oh. Everyone back in. Nice. Uh, I think I wanted to go to... Uh, no. Parks. Make this look... This matches this area a little bit better. And then we go trees, fir trees. Okay. What was that? Flooded clay pit. Okay. Alright. So, I spent all my money. <laughs> of course I did. Uh, pottery is going to be coming into this area soon enough. I think pottery is going out. Is pottery going out? Furniture's in. Furn well, furniture's coming in here. Uh, we have plenty of unemployment. There we go. Pottery is going out. Then they need furniture. Yes. So we'll evolve all of these houses by two steps. And then we'll have pretty much everything we need to get uh, our luxury palaces. Uh, this pantheon will help everything evolve just one step beyond what it needs. So that will actually help. I've never actually used that for luxury palaces. So now we need to get a low bridge across over here somewhere to get food in. Is that the best spot? Maybe like that. And then we need... Let's get rid of this library. Instead, I'm going to just have... Three markets. One is going to be wheat and wine. One is going to be vegetables and oil. One is going to be meat and furniture. And one's going to be pottery. I did these backwards. Meat and furniture. Vegetables and oil. Correct. <laughs> it was backwards. It was backwards. Okay. So now I need a lot of places to store this stuff. So maybe I can use something around here. Uh, I'm going to need... It technically can go along here. It's a little weird, but I'll make it work. Uh, so I'm going to need... Three granaries. Meat. Getting meat. 
Getting vegetables. Getting wheat. Just make sure nothing collapses. Then we're going to need... You are getting pottery and I'm going to be importing wine. So we need to get pottery. And accept wine. 16, 16. Uh, you are going to get oil. 16. And accept furniture. Easy enough to produce. This one, yes. I should just set them all to getting, right? Getting furniture. I know I'm probably gonna... And then this... Wine is land or sea trade route? Sea trade route. I guess we won't be importing it into there directly anyway. Right? We just have a warehouse set up here. And this one is accepting wine. Okay, that's where the wine's gonna go. That should work out correctly. And then we're going to need other services. Library. We need baths. Library. The gods? Mm. Okay, so I think things are setting up all right. Let's extend this road, roadblock that. Uh, furniture is coming in. Okay, so furniture we, we're actually grabbing from there. That's not too far. Pottery. Oh, pottery is like gone down here. Is everything here medium insula? No, it's unstable as hell. <laughs> Run out of pottery. Why? I guess we need to actually have pottery and furniture in there as well. Buy wheat. Yeah, just buy everything. Two markets for everything. I think the, the road is too long. Thomas food stocks. lady walk up this way things aren't as stable as they need to be but okay uh, we're training these entertainers from there so if I actually for example throw a theater here be more beneficial if for example we have the gatehouse there and we have this road looping round into here Thank <laughs> you. 
and then we break this road connection so that the theater walkers whether they're going to that theater or to this theater it will have to pass all of these houses I'm not sure why service is low but okay so we should start seeing some theater walkers go along this road here and i can go amphitheater arena okay good good all right <laughs> i know i know <laughs> we're doing some nice interesting difficult things like I, I could just win this mission like no problem really um but i'm doing some interesting weird things Rome pays more wages. Thirty-nine. Okay. Employment. We have plenty of people. We're a little low on money, but okay. Let's go ahead and start. How many luxury palaces we're gonna get here? Like eight, I guess. Maybe eight. If I want eight luxury palaces, make 40. We'll be here all day. Oh, trading more marble. Nice. Uh, 40 palaces. I don't know if I can support that with this current setup. I can't extend the road though. I can make it more. Maybe not 40. But if I change this road. Zeke Farmer, thank you so much. I can change this road to do this. And then we have more room for luxury palaces. Oh, because this isn't roadblocked, that's why it's messed up. <laughs> yeah, the market ladies are too close together. Local uprising. Oh, we are training a lot of legionaries as well so our weapon exports are not quite maxed Good. That's slowly coming along. Uh, I needed to spam down farms. Uh, so let me try assess how many luxury palaces we're gonna go for here. Can you just have them like right next to each other? I suppose we can get enough desirability. Uh, we probably shouldn't, right? So if we're going one, two, three, four. We have a gap of two between them, I guess. Uh, okay. Let me try and measure this in a cheaper way. What's the 
aqueducts. That's the cheapest thing I can use. One, two, three, four. 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 How much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be 14. <clears throat> 14 luxury palaces. How many farms do we need for 14 luxury palaces? A lot, right? Five each? <laughs> okay. Uh... So five each, okay. There's, there is this farmland here, but it's, the question is how do I get the food over there? Uh... So I can bridge here, right? I can bridge here. If I have the road come out this way. It goes up, and then it comes down. Bridge across here. 17 farms total. Across the three types of food, is it? 17 farms total across three types of food. So six of each farm. Is that enough? So if I send a, a walker up this... It can go up, and then it comes down to reconnect to here. Okay, okay, I can, okay, I, I have a plan. I think this is working, yes. Six of each would work. Six of each. I'd have to connect this road, which may cause problems. not too many. So what I'm doing is... One, two, three, four. I'll have this road come up like this. And I break this road. So now entertainment has a different issue, but... Actually, are entertainers coming down this way at all? No, right? Yeah, they're not coming down this way at all. Okay, so this just isn't working, so that's fine. So this road is doing that. So now, now, <clears throat> if you see what I do here, I uh, have another farm. No, I'm gonna need. Okay. Make sure nothing collapses in these areas. Uh, so that's where these farms are. This is where markets go. Uh, and these... These granaries just... no. No more. Don't do those granaries. These markets, we're just gonna have two. Hey, 
This is going to be trading wine and pottery. This is going to be trading oil and furniture. Okay. Uh, this road does need to extend down to there. Because this road is going to go... bridge there yes so that's there's no limit <laughs> you can just bridge right there um, and that's going to be a forced loop for markets Stocking all three types of food, I'm thinking. And then we just need... Six of each type of farm. marble that's taking up a lot of money, right? We have a fleshed out military. Favor's fine. Favor's fine. So I don't have to care about much. Okay, so I'm gonna try split this up a little bit. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. No, six. So that's six of each farm. <clears throat> right? That's six of each farm. A couple extra wheat farms here. Uh, oh, the problem is these are now going to be sending food over this way. Do I even need this road connection? No, right? I do not need this. Right? Just separate these areas entirely. No more confusion. Just, just stop it. Just stop it. Right? Good. Pottery is being grabbed over to here. Nice. All right. Furniture is just flowing in. Great. Everything looks stable at medium insula. All right. Yep. <laughs> this is slowly coming through. Uh, oh, we don't have any surplus timber anymore. All this unemployment. Use it. Can't build our pantheon. Okay. So I've got six of each farm. This one needs to be... Allowing meat. This one needs to be allowing vegetables. This one is where all the wheat goes. A couple extra wheat farms to make sure that stays up. Let's make sure nothing's collapsing around here. Yeah, favor's fine, not worried about it. But you know, just in case, send a gift. Get that up to 62. Alright, so this should be able to feed. So there's six of each farm. Should be able to feed 14 palaces. Should I, just in case... 
throw in an extra vegetable, an extra pig, extra vegetable, extra pig. Because we got two extra wheat, though this is... Oh, that is taking all the types of food. So, okay. And then we have... One, two, three. You... I just buying wheat. Actually, no. You should buy all the types of food. Wheat, vegetables, meat. Wheat, vegetables, meat. Wheat, vegetables, meat. Okay, so we got three markets. Which will be grabbing all the food. And they can wander because I want them to be separated as much as possible. So it's a little inconsistent, but should be fine. Okay, so this is the food supply for, if I go ahead and pop that down. It is now a forced walker loop. You see the market ladies going? Yes, okay, good, good. Market ladies going. Timber's coming back in. It's a long walk to do anything, but... <laughs> Okay, Pantheon's gonna come down, and that's gonna cover this. We could fit 14 luxury palaces here. We should have enough food to support it. Uh, we need to import oil. And wine. Uh, so, if I go ahead and grab... Is it land trade routes? No, both are sea trade routes. Oil and wine. Two sources of wine, yes. So this warehouse needs to be accepting oil and wine. 16 of each. This one is getting wine. This one is getting oil. It can walk down to grab it. Come back up to here to put it back in. Okay. Pantheon's making slow progress. Once we get the luxury palaces, we're gonna be pretty much done with this map, actually. Uh, well, we might need another housing block for population, but... Yeah, another housing block for population, which I guess I could... Uh, no. Extend further down this way. There's more farmland here. Can I permanently clear off these wolves? I should. Try actually clear off all the wolves. The shouting sound effects are so obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. We go back. So the forced walker market ladies are going. Yes. So the palace area is getting two different forced walker blocks. I never built my fort. It became part of my force walker block. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're waiting for everything to just sort of finish and save us. Three granaries are full. Three types of food on all of these. I do I have short on vegetables? Okay, extra farms as well. We still have 200 unemployment. Uh, this is waiting on more wood, I think. I think to speed up construction of the Pantheon, I'll temporarily connect those blocks. Okay. 
with furniture and pottery, these houses can already get going. So let me go ahead and set these up. Uh, so I have some money. Uh, let's go one, two, three. What? A wolf is killing someone? Oh, the wolves just respawn wherever? It is an option, right? There's an option that causes wolves to just respawn. Is it under difficulty? Disable infinite wolf spawning. Yeah. Because that's just... You should be able to wipe them out. Wolves are killing someone. more death I think we got them all okay hold on these guys are moving in that's bad uh, let's do this let's do that you know let's just do that. that's bad okay no sure whatever wait one two three four five six seven okay it's not here fountains so fountains, we're putting like this. Reservoirs. Putting like that. There's still wolves somewhere. Is there a filter to look for wolves? Where are the wolves? Looking at the mini-map. No. I think there's a wolf somewhere. There is a wolf somewhere. Okay, let's go to... Parks. No, let's go to... Wait, where is it? Xbox will earn extra 50%. Ah, blessing from Neptune. Fantastic. Where is the wolf? Where is it? I can't find the wolf. There it is! I found him! I found him! <laughs> you just hear death! Actually, now I need to break this road because food's not going to the houses. Uh, let me go ahead and go to paths. Wait, no, that doesn't work like that. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go to statues, legionary statues. Oh, 
Okay. Plazas along here and along here. Those are the important ones. Should we just finish this off? Okay, good. Okay. So legionary statues and fountains dividing these paths. Uh, did we get the wolves? I think so. Nope. There's one more. Got it. Why are there more wolves here? Are they dead now? Run them through the granaries. Okay. We're under attack! Not by the wolves. Convenient location. gonna take forever to build but I guess there's no particular rush as we're just trying to get these luxury palaces up uh, is food coming yeah here come the market ladies with the food okay so now we need the other services so we have What am I doing here? I want to force walk us some entertainment. I can just do it like this. Just have like theater. Amphitheater. Yeah. Uh, these tents, they're not happy. Food's coming in though, great. Uh, let's go small temple. All. Can I do this? A little jank, but okay. <laughs> let's get that down. Then we get um, entertainment. So that's the northern road. This is a southern road, so we want to have uh, maybe not that far, right? It just has to be like here. Actor colony. Gladiator school. Lions. Okay, so that will send the entertainment through here. Food is being served. Yeah, local religious facilities. That's coming in now. Uh, we will need to throw down schools. Probably one on each side. But also forums, because we want to tax these people. We need room for dentists as well. 
No, barbers. Not dentists. Dentist is another game. And clinics. I'm a tough cookie, thank you so much. So, these are up to small casa now, now that they need local bathhouse access, because there's no reservoir here. This is a little... Little ugly to do, but sure. So that gets the bathhouse functioning. Nice. So forum, clinic, barber given to these guys. Schools as well. Education, schools, yes. Health, clinics, health, barber. Hospital and Academy. Coliseum and Hippodrome. <laughs> Actually, fit the hippodrome back in. You can fit the Colosseum back here as well. Senate. Never build a Senate. This Force Walker is the Senate, doesn't it? Right? Force Walker the Senate. That does provide taxes. Yes. Okay. And it fits in nicely there. Did the Colosseum and Hippodrome change? Um, in what way? They are monuments. Uh, we have so much money, I think I gotta start importing insane amounts of marble at this point. Import max. Uh, and then we prepare more room for it. To really get marble. Three warehouses for that, and then I start importing wine to maintain 16, and I import oil to maintain 16. I should import wine from the other area, but I sh Oh, it just counts for both, okay. So I'm importing wine, importing oil, importing marble, spending all the money. Gonna wait for that to finish. Bathhouse is not spawning correctly. That market is not spawning correctly. So... I'm just gonna let things wander a little bit, which doesn't... It's not ideal, but eventually they get forced. But the librarian just despawned. Huh. 
I guess this is not working. For whatever reason. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Now, uh, if I move Venus to there, Mars to there, clear those two. Oh, did I accidentally break the force loop there? Is that why things weren't working? <laughs> okay. Um, let me reform this one. Does it make more sense if this just connects? It does. Okay. So Academy's down. Uh, no hospital yet. Do I need this forum? I don't think so. So I can pop a hospital there. Okay. Supply of pottery, so that should start coming through. Okay. These cart pushes need to follow that road connection. Okay, some wine's coming in. More marbles coming in. So to speed up monument construction, I'm going to create some space here. And go... Work camp, work camp. Well, I'm actually short on people. I should probably go build that other housing block first. Or can I... The food supply is actually struggling. Try and stabilize food supply. Okay, so we do need to increase population. I don't think there's enough food in this block to support much more. But with two markets, we can actually support quite a lot of housing. Perhaps I can get away with doing this. with two markets. Should be okay. Blessing from series. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, one market can support one road at a time. Desirability. Oh, the tents are bringing it down. I see, I see. Okay, we've spent a lot of money. Somehow we haven't touched debt, but... Okay, that's gonna bring in a lot more people. So now we can... Try and... Why are they stepping off the road there? That's so annoying. Try and speed up monument construction by doing that. So we triple monument construction because the walking distance is just so far. Pantheon's on phase 4 out of 5. Uh, we're short 132 workers. That should come in soon enough. Need supply of oil. Are we getting any oil in? Have we bought like one oil? Oh, we've bought five oil. I think it's... Hang on. Hang on. Hang 
Okay, there it is. Oil is gone. So this is yeah, wine, pottery, oil finishing. Okay. These houses are devolving. That's why it's a problem. Yeah, there's some desirability issues here. Can I solve that real quick? Good. Just be happy about things. I don't need multiple architect skills, only one can be sent to a monument at a time. I guess that makes sense. Extra work camps to get the resources there faster. Desirability, okay, but we're broke. It's okay. Uh, Desirability. Statues. What's the... What do we do here? We can have ponds. Everyone gets their private pond. Uh, then we go to statues. How do I make this look good at all? If this is like that, these are 150 each. Yeah, I spent all my money on marble. Did I buy too much? I bought all 40. <laughs> Are we maxing our weapon sales? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're maxing weapon sales. So we're going up to Grand Insu. So they're starting to get the two types of food. The markets all do stock all three types of food. Okay, good, good, good. I just need money. So much money. Why is this no oil? Okay. Wine is here. Oil is... Uh, Inish. Okay, Grand Insula. That's, that's fine. Uh, these houses... Oh, it's just not enough food, huh? I don't know if it's not enough food or... Favors 71. It's fine, it's fine. Just struggling to get the food down, maybe? Uh, so if that's the case, what I can do is have another road, granary. Set this to getting wheat. Just bring more food down this way. Yeah, that new block's sort of coming together. You guys paying tax? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, a villa! Okay. Villa's coming in. Villa's coming in. Uh, tax income. People are pleased with me. 9%. Tax income is now 6,800. That's pretty good. I think we're just still spending it all on marble, but you know, I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah. 
send a gift. There. 81 favor. Uh, which means with that we can be in debt for a while, so I'm going to speed this along. Bye. Do I just want this giant row of equestrian, equestrian statues? I think I, I kind of do. Where'd all my money go? What'd I just buy? How'd I get to minus 5,000? <laughs> fine, fine. Stop. No, no. Stop importing marble. <laughs> I was like, minus 600, minus 5,000. Why? What happened? Was it the oil? Was it the wine? Shouldn't be the wine, we're barely using it. Oil, maybe? It's fine, we'll, we'll make it back. All we have to do is stop imports for a while. Stop importing wine, stop importing oil. We've got enough to survive for a little while. Uh, they need more entertainment to evolve. They're waiting on supply of wine. They're under attack. guys use drums, so no trumpets on this mission. Pretty tight formation. I think we win. Yes. Look at that. Edward the Loud, he screams as he runs away. Good. Ah, look at these villas coming in. Yes! Villa, 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 villa. That's just desirability. Is this reflecting in taxes? Yeah, taxes going up. How are people feeling? People are pleased with me? Okay. 9% is probably the safest bet, right? More desirability. Okay. Um, the more these evolve, the better. As they evolve into 3x3s and 4x4s, I can put more stuff around the back. Let's just try to get these going. There we go. Evolve, please. Oh, the hospital doesn't reach down there. Okay. Uh, so I will need another hospital. Just not quite long enough, it's fine. But all these villas looking good, some desirability problems there. What's our taxes looking like? Why is it down to 7,700? Fine, whatever. Uh, this housing area looks good. Food is actually looking fine. Rome pays more wages. 41, jeez. People are indifferent to you. Okay, I think 9% taxes is the safest bet here. There's no tense or anything, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I don't think we can... Uh, the markets are struggling to stay on top of this food, but I think with the second granary, it makes it not so bad. 
Yeah, because it's not too far away. Alright. My military fort didn't become a fort. Flex <laughs> building, where? Well, that makes sense. Hilda, thank you so much. Jade Brightcliffe, thank you. You guys, you guys joining the Zachalites because my granary collapsed? Is that is that what it is? <laughs> I let the granary collapse. Oh. You again? Oh. It's okay. Favor seventy one. Uh, hopefully all these villas are doing some tax stuff. Um, statue. Large statue. Just evolve. Become villa. I need to replace these statues here with like... Is this coming along? We have the marble. Yeah, it's just taking a while. Okay. That's a lot of villas though. That's good. So the next bit of thing is entertainment. So I just need to have a Colosseum at the back here. The quickest way to do it would be to build a Colosseum here. And then just have a... I can build it here. Blessing from the okay. Favors dropping. How long has it been? 13 months? Yeah, dispatch a lavish gift. It's okay. We'll, we'll keep Caesar happy. How about taxes? 9,000. I stopped all imports. Resources are holding fine. Food supplies holding fine. We've got marble. Is this just desirability issues? Yeah. Uh, so if it's just desirability issues, I could maybe... Let's try and push it up. Okay, that helps. Yes, very nice. <laughs> no more pars on this map. It's now you again. Rome pays more wages. 42, okay. Pars are out, you again are in. Okay, so this is the first time I'm using two separate forced walker blocks. Forced walker loops on the same block. One loop is doing this counterclockwise. And the other loop is doing uh, this, from this farmland, also counterclockwise. <laughs> it's a very big loop. The big loop's just for the food. But it's working. It's working. We've got these villas. The Pantheon's just going to uh, send everything up by one um, step. So I'm wondering if I even need a Hippodrome. I'm currently saving up money to build that Colosseum. Uh, does the Pantheon 5th stage cost marble? <laughs> it's so expensive! Uh, building all these monuments without... 
uh, being able to produce marble, especially when it's marble. Importing timber or clay, that's not a problem. Importing marble is a hard one. Okay. Look, we're, we're getting out of debt. We're getting out of debt. could speed up the furniture getting rate by doing this. This is awkward. What am I doing? Just, just send this back. <laughs> Just produce furniture right there, so this guy- Because this, right now, is walking along the road to get that furniture. Because it's connected by road, it follows the road. A little short in employment. How's our housing advisor? Available capacity, a thousand? But this is not stable. Another market? Another market might help. Just get rid of one of these temples, I guess. Seven thousand population. Let's move Venus. baths there. Let that stabilize. Put another small Venus temple there. Check health baths. Let her cover the block. food stocks. Build another market. Actually, wait. One's just coming back now. One's going out. So I'm gonna wait for this one to go out, then build another market. So there's one. Here comes the next one. Then I wait a little while to try and stabilize this. Wait, where'd she go? Where's the next mark? Wait. Why is she walking up this way? That's confusing. Okay. And then you are buying wheat furniture pottery. I don't know why they would be walking up this way. They shouldn't. This counts as a road, right? Yeah. Sometimes I don't know. Um, is this... Ah, the Pantheon doesn't need any resources for the final phase. We have some money. Let's resume our imports, uh, which are wine, importing, oil, Im oil, importing. Marble, we have 43. We want to keep importing that because I don't know how much we're going to need for the Colosseum, but... The Colosseum is going to go right 
here. And I'm con gonna connect the road there for now. And then I will change the road to the other side. Which just needs to do... that because then yeah the entertainer wa entertainment walkers need to go that way i don't know if we'll need another lion house to cover that in another gladiator school local uprising okay Lots of blue guys. Oh look, I made a perfect rectangle. Okay. Um, how do I get that to evolve? Is that gonna do it? Yes. <laughs> okay, this Pantheon will be constructed soon enough. Uh, oh wait, I should halt construction first. Finish the Pantheon first, please. It's kind of important. Uh, I think with the third market, this area stabilizes somewhat. What's our taxes looking like? 10,000 now? Okay, villas are working, villas are helping. can finish off my wall of horses. <laughs> yeah, just, just waste the money. It's fine. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so what do they actually need? Desirability and... Ent so entertainment. And then the Pantheon. Do they have everything they need? Three types of food and all resources. Services, academy, yes. Hospital. Technically, I could force Walker a hospital here. If I put a hospital like that and change this road to do that and do that. Yeah, we're importing a bunch of stuff now. Go straight back into debt. It's okay. Favors 86. I don't care. So this should now force Walker a hospital walker, right? So I could then get rid of the two hospitals to make room for decorations. Yes, there he goes. So I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. That will help. Jade Brightcliff, thank you so much. <coughs> Salhador san. You rock, dude. Thank you so much. You, you rock. Do I have a tavern? Not yet. Uh, tavern requires wine. So if I put a tavern here and have it just accept one. And I change the roadblock to there to maximize its walking distance. I can start putting a tavern through with one type of entertainment and then the Colosseum or the next level of entertainment. And instead of a Hippodrome, I have the Pantheon to evolve them one extra step. And that might get me to luxury palaces, maybe. 
Maybe. I... You again. Guys, it's me again. The Pantheon is completed. It stands unrivaled as a monument to the awesome power of the gods and the people of Rome. So now... That is entertainment. So what epithets do they have? All temples in the city send priests to the Pantheon spreading their faith. Houses with access to the Pantheon can evolve one extra step. This costs a thousand. So it's not doing it yet. But the tavern entertainment is going out and evolving these further. Okay. So I think I need to stop importing. We have 71 marble. Let's just use the 71 marble first. Resume construction on the Colosseum. Let's make some money back. Get out of debt. Nah, who? We don't need to wait. Wait. First, let me check. You are there. Uh, would it be on the religion? This city is a reasonable place. How do you know which is the Pantheon Walker? I guess you see if one's walking back that way. One, two, three, four, five. One pays more wages. Forty-three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's six priest walkers here. One of them is the Pantheon one. I just want to make sure. Do I never speed up the game past 80%? I lose track of things. Wait. Oh, they can walk on the... Okay, this guy. This guy is the Pantheon walker. So, yes. So it is working. So, if I then go ahead and bestow the epithet... Houses with access to the Pantheon can evolve one extra step. Apply. They all just boost up one step. Look at that. Bam. Needs more entertainment. Okay. Good. Good. Taxes up to 12,000. Now I need another row of statues on the back. Why did this devolve? It should recombine at some point. It's fine. Like, why did that particular house devolve? Why, why just that one? It makes no sense. It probably does, but it's so hard to tell what, what's doing what. Why would that just devolve by itself? Just the one in the middle. Not the ones around it. Just that one. There's that one there. The one across the street. Like, it's just continuing to devolve. Run out of wine. Why have they run out of wine? The houses before and after it have wine. This market still has wine. Why has the market run out of wine? I can move these warehouses much closer, can't I? If I just set this to... This one is getting pottery and wine. This one is getting furniture and oil. And these are set to accepting instead we can bring the resources much closer to the markets which makes a lot more sense see how did how did the houses after get it i guess maybe it restocked halfway it ran out of wine here then it restocked here i guess I guess maybe. <laughs> you again. It's me again. Hello, Gamer Zack. It's me again. 
So this furniture, yeah, that, that makes that trip a lot easier. And we're just emptying these warehouses over so the markets can stock up much faster. So then, the easiest thing to do here would be to... Now that one devolved. Now we have two villas here. How is it a villa if they don't have wine? How did this become a villa when it doesn't have wine? The Pantheon, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Pantheon power. Okay. Okay. Now it has wine, so it re-evolved. I check entertainment. Tavern. Is the tavern reaching the end? No. <clears throat> How far is the tavern reaching? Tavern's not reaching the last one. Does it get almost there? Like, how many tiles do I need to move it up? this work? I could possibly stabilize this. Yes. All the wine and oil has moved over, now for the furniture and pottery. Okay, so all of these are medium palaces now, except for these two at the end. Should I just demolish these houses? Get out of there. No middle class people allowed, only the rich. You don't need the small temples here since the pantheons give access to all gods. Oh! I didn't know that. Well, nothing else needs to go there, so it's fine. Uh, wait, I can I can force Walker a tavern, can't I? Wouldn't that make sense? Now that the wine's there. Why am I doing this? I, it's two by two. I can force Walker the tavern. Do I have enough marble for this Colosseum? I have another 55, we're fine. Okay. I can force walk her a tavern. There she is. Things seem to be working well here. And she goes, right? Yeah, that's fine. I don't need this or that. Don't need that. So she just keeps this going, governor right? Has no re Hail, citizen! Have you heard? The gods are angry! The gods are angry? Alright, I destroyed a Mars temple. Small temple, Mars. Uh, there. Sure. No, that's... that's bad. That'll collapse. Small temple, Mars. Um... There. <laughs> sure. Okay, so we're all up to medium palaces. Will the Colosseum be enough? I don't know. Will we absolutely need a Hippodrome? Well, money's coming back in. Let's resume importing marble. Uh, 
Population is 8,200. If I look at housing, total capacity is 8,400. So we're short. Like, I can fit all the people I need onto this block. It's just an issue of food. Can I get more food? If I change this Mars temple to the library. Place that Mars temple with there, sure. Have these roadblocks allow inspectors through. Spam some engineers to make sure things don't collapse. Get rid of that, move a granary here, have this getting wheat as well. Is that the new or old library? more wages. Can I roadblock there to force the library maybe? I think I can get rid of that. Yes, okay, good. And then I have another market here, which is just trading wheat to take from this granary. Roadblock there. Four markets. This granary should be helping with both of these markets to get food a little bit faster. Okay. Coliseum, how are you doing? Phase three of four. Okay. Uh, employment is just about perfect. Culture is terrible. Um... Don't know if I can get this evolved. If I plaza this road, maybe we can. If we spam some trees over here, maybe it works for that theater. I should also try and get that evolved. Blessing from series, okay. Uh, any other. School evolved, school evolved. I didn't provide any schools for any of these houses because they're all medium insular. That's fine. Prosperity is 71. Like, I don't know the math, but... Okay. I think it is maintaining okay. Phase 404, 12 marble. Okay. We've got plenty more. I can build the Hippodrome. If I need to. I can fit right there. <laughs> Kinda weird, but... 
I am still really surprised how broke I am. <laughs> it's like... We've done so much and we're still so broke. 14,000 in taxes. That's pretty good. I should build a lighthouse. Because I'm importing so much now. I could get cheaper imports. I should totally build that next. Yeah, it works right there. And I would just need access to some wood from there. Okay. Oh, right. Save the game. We haven't been threatened much, so... So I should totally build a lighthouse next. Halt construction. It takes 12... Why are these engineers just walking everywhere? There's something with the engineers where they just decide that they can walk wherever they want. Right, they just walk off road. They go wherever. <laughs> Just waiting for resources. In terms of food supply, is this looking better? Yes. So I can boost up population. So each of these takes 80. I need to boost population by 1,500. 1,500. Just give the tavern meat. Not that easy to get meat to there. Actually, no, it is actually okay. I have meat farms here. I don't know if it'll mess up the meat stuff there. Right. With all these engineers who walk wherever they want. Fine, there. What was this? Actor colony. Engineers go wherever they want, except for where they're needed. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. I was going to use this area for something grand, but then it was like, I want to force walker this, and all the grandness shifted over to this side. So now there's nothing here. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Maybe the hippodrome could go there. If I build a hippodrome, that is. So this tavern can now accept meat. Because it's not that far of a walk. I worry about these pig farmers. Yeah, the pig farmers are going to do that now. But I guess that doesn't matter too much. It's not so much the farmland is close, it's the granary that can't be. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. Should be okay. <gasps> Look at that. Large palaces. Just give them some more meat. Coliseum waiting on the marble. Nice, they're now four by fours. Okay, we need 
to go. Alright. That's looking pretty good. What's the plan for getting culture up? We'll build another grand temple, I guess. Grand temple. I wanted Mercury. But then again, money's not going to be a problem after this. Series. To make people eat less. Then I can boost up my... Okay, I can build it here. Which I think is a bit more appropriate. It doesn't look as good facing this direction. I wish we could rotate Grand Temples. Venus Grand Temple plus bonus to entertainment. But I, then again, we might not need it. I think with the Colosseum, we can get the entertainment we need. Colosseum's being built right now. What's taxes now? 15,000? Okay. With all these taxes coming in, we're finally... <laughs> the Force Walker goes through the, the legions. Grand Temple, Venus. It doesn't face the right way, so... Give me the Colosseum. Get that done. I think we can speed this up, because I just need to make sure that it works. Invasion imminent. Monument completed! The Colosseum is complete! Let the games commence! We can hold games for my personal funds. And then you favor both the Emperor and the common people for the next year. Gladiators will help defend the city from the next invasion. 33 meat. Okay, so now that the Colosseum is done, I connect the road there. I remove this road here. So now if I go to Entertainment... Colosseum. It's confusing because not all of these lines are going to a Colosseum. But... It's not enough! Okay, so Venus it is. Grand Temple... Venus Grand Temple. It's quite a walk. Can it, can it be somewhere closer? And still look good. Imperial games are better for favor than large gifts, so you don't need the favor. Ah, I was wondering, like... So Imperial games... Well, not Imperial games, Roman games. Uh, gain both favor. So I assume this gives more than 10, is what I'm thinking. Build that lighthouse. Um, so we need, so I'm using grand temples to get these things evolved. So the Venus grand temple, does it need to be the walker or, wait, 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 why is it evolving now? Why, why? Why? Oh, the gladiator counts as a separate one. Ah, 
So the lion is one, the gladiator is another. Okay. 15 pottery. So, that means we go back to building series. Grand Temple, series. It's a walk, but sure. Okay. Um, as series builds up. So, if I throw down more work camps, the resources are delivered faster, right? And then I move this thing over to be right next to it. Right? And that... This works fastest. How's food over here? Looking good. Which means we can... Wait, why are these houses devolving? Auto. Isn't it just getting from... Oh, it's because I blocked this off. So that's now a problem. I see. I blocked this off, so then... There was no quick way to get the pottery. Okay, that's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, everyone's run out of pottery. Blessing from Neptune. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Alright. Um, it's gonna be hard to find the cart pusher. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. He needs to exit from that. And I think this collapsed because there was a roadblock that was stopping the engineers. I think this is now fine. Go grab the pottery, please. Meanwhile... Let us expand our population. Okay. That's coming along. Do I have money to waste now? Yeah, I'm going with the colonnades. No, that's not great. Let's not do that. That looks weird. Uh, I like the colonnade there. I like the little bit there. We can just have it extend up to there. couple large statues. Uh, let's go to parks. That doesn't quite work. Okay. Uh, parks. 
we do need obelisks, obviously. <laughs> Chaos Fangs, thank you so much for the gift. Okay, hold on. Why aren't you evolving? Deal with these guys. Pretty big invasion. The spirit of Mars. Right, we got a Mars blessing. They re evolved. Okay. We're being flanked. No survivors. Okay. Uh, so we have our 14 luxury palaces here. That's looking pretty good. Um, that means taxes are approaching 20,000. 20,000. Okay, so we're just trying to boost up population. Now. So we got to deal with these things. Uh, is pottery coming back in? I think pottery is being swallowed <laughs> yeah P pottery's struggling a little bit here this road can connect to he no it cannot it wouldn't solve the problem we wait we can have can have this here. And have this accepting pottery. And have this road go up like that. Road blocked. And then let the pottery go down there instead. annoying we're going to move mercury and i'm gonna replace series here i'm gonna put mercury over here and then we're going to have engineers post there because we need that guy to go up there this was a gladiator school like this that was a lion house. Okay, so pottery is now stocking up here. So it's a much shorter distance for this warehouse to go grab pottery. Okay gonna get those houses evolved looking at the housing total capacity is 10,000 fantastic waiting for the luxury palaces to fill up that might take a while 
Grand Temple of Ceres will help with the food situation. Now I just have to deal with the pottery situation here. If I set this to getting eight pots, maybe that will help bring more pottery down here. Right? We don't need to stock up that much furniture because we are actually just producing it here. Throw a festival to Venus to help with the labor. We could do that. Venus. Large festival. We're just short by a hundred people, but we're getting in another thousand population. There's all the immigrants. Look. They say there's food here. Is it a good place to live? There is food here. Uh, is the meat supply here still fine? Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Why? I don't... What? Did you see that? They all devolved, and then they were like, Oh, no, back up. <laughs> Why? What happened? Global entertainment coverage. Doesn't look so great. Why is. Where is. Where are they getting pottery from? It's supposed to be right there. I need to watch this. What are they doing? These guys should be grabbing from right there. Where are they? Where are they? They're walking on the roads? Ah, that's why this was broken. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, understood. There he is. Got it, got it. <laughs> Figured it out. Yes. Let's restabilize. We gotta wait for them to come back and then they can grab from them. Got to set that to accepting. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> How's this coming along? Phase three of five? Okay. Okay, boost up pottery production. We're gonna need more. Because that's a lot of houses in this block. That's a lot of pottery. Okay. But we are hitting our target population. So now it's just culture. Just culture. So... 
the first thing I can do is deal with the school situation. So what I want to do is squeeze in a few schools. It's not really providing coverage, but there we go, 10,000 population. Then we gotta make sure that these schools evolve. Venus grants youthfulness, health, and happiness to your people, increasing the size of your working population. The mood in your city lifts at Venus's smile. Look at that, a little bit of unemployment. Uh, this needs to be contaminated water that school evolved that school has not not sure if I can get this school to evolve clinic coverage it's not got nothing to do with coverage is it just a scripted disaster that's three schools helps with the culture uh all right no problem we had the venus blessing no employment problems monument completed the completed lighthouse all oh, right i forgot i was building that a mighty tower of stone looms over the horizon may its fiery beacon guide ships safely home until the end of time the lighthouse See exports earn more, see imports are 20% cheaper, but exports earn less, trade ships carry more. Make the <laughs> imports cheaper. It's a little late, but <laughs> sure. Oh, we just don't have enough pottery going down here. I'm running out of pottery. Uh, to boost up pottery production there. Uh, gonna set that to getting pottery. Gonna set that to getting pottery. A 
another one? Why is my water so contaminated? More doctors? Is the overall city health low? It shouldn't be. I mean, hospital very poor. What was that? Oh, the school. That's the point of the contaminated water event. It's not usually this bad. Usually, contamin like half most of the time, contaminated water doesn't even do anything. All right, everyone, move back in. We need the two thousand population. Series temple is almost done. Okay. Grand temple completed. Priests and worshippers flock to the new grand temple. For rites of dedication, your people stand in awe of the majesty of your works, and your chosen deity showers you with favor. Now, epithet. Priests reduce food consumption by 20%. That should solve the food problem. Now we need to solve the pottery problem. Maybe I just stop exporting pottery. We don't need to sell it. Okay, pottery here looks like it's stocked up again. So now pottery down here needs to stock up again. Because there's literally no pottery. <sighs> Everyone ran out of pottery. It's too late. I've got three warehouses here set to getting pottery. Is it going out again? Did we get some pottery? No? Yes? Okay, it's, it's kind of. It'll re-evolve. It'll re-evolve. It's fine. It's fine. The houses will rejoin at some way, somehow. I'm just gonna look away for a while. gonna look away for a while and things should be fine I've set things up to be okay it's just no problem it's gonna be okay hey it looks okay all right good problem solved <sighs> taxes what are our taxes Oh, well, it's kind of messed up now. Oh, look, it's fine. Back to normal. No worries. Um, these houses re-evolved. Yes. Good. Housing. Space for 11,000. Okay. So now we just have to focus on culture. So food is being consumed way less. Pottery, now that we're not selling any, I think it's fine. We're producing way more pottery than before as well. Let's fulfill that request. Uh, we just have to get our culture up. So to do that, I can... Deal with temples first. Because they provide culture. It also gives me something to put here, I guess. Oh, my, my fort that I never built. I can, I can imply a fort.
quite fit anymore, but sure. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Chaos Fangs, thank you so much for the gift sub. <laughs> Look, it's, it's the fort I wanted to build. It's exactly what I imagined at the start of this map. <laughs> exactly what I... The, the exact vision. Okay. Um, so, cultures 44. Population will go back up. These palaces are probably just missing like a hundred people each. Yeah. Local uprising. show them okay uh, culture 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 so I guess I do have to culture dump a little bit so if I for example just throw a couple extra schools around A library, I guess. Extra library. No. Uh, spare Academy. <laughs> okay. Uh, make sure they do. Evolve. Uh, let's go parks and. Looped garden wall. Yeah, that looks different right there. So under education, good, average, average. All right. Taverns, theaters, amphitheaters. Uh, let's go. So that's 51. I do have two Grand Temples, so that's 16 culture by itself. No, this is still not evolved, really. So the other rule is any culture building I put down has to be evolved. But I think I I've made this so efficient I need a culture done. My entire population is in just this block here. I'm surprised it's actually standing. Like it's actually working. <laughs> it's kind of unexpectedly so. You know, we haven't used gardens for a long time. It actually looks okay this time. Once we mix it up with some other things. Okay. I, I think... I think it's culture dump time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I built it too efficiently. So if I just, just do that.
Initiate slum block. Well, it's not slum block, it's uh, culture block. Do with more theaters. That's 57. Okay. All right, I should be evolving these as well. Lazas. Fix that. Seventy four. Eighty. There we go. Now that's victory. And that's our city. Ah, <laughs> oh, to build a really beautiful city, you have to spend countless hours. Oh, amphitheaters don't count? Oh. You have to spend countless hours building a city to make it look pretty and beautiful and everything. And you can do it for like certain sections, but like we've been on this map for like four hours and like it took me that long to do this. I think you got to spend like eight hours to really build something beautiful. But 14 luxury palaces on a force walker block with Pantheon. Never done that before. That's new. Pretty good. Huh? Chaos fangs, thank you so much. Contaminated water. Please don't kill people. We're about to win. We're about to win. We just need 50 more people. Don't burn my houses. Don't do it. Don't do it. Victory. Oh. By the way, if you'd like to support the channel, particularly these couple weeks, please do donate on Buy Me A Coffee at gamersact.com slash coffee. Uh, the main point is that these two weeks I'm doing an important visa application and I'm short by quite a bit of money. So any support you can uh, send on Buy Me Coffee is very handy. Thank you so, so much. It's just with the pandemic and the visa centers being closed because of lockdown and stuff like that, it's a mess. And things aren't going according to plan or according to schedule. Uh, so the important reason why buy me a coffee is because that's the only platform that transfers uh, the donation immediately. So thank you so, so much. By the way, direct support does mean we run fewer ads on YouTube as well. So everyone can benefit as we move away from ad revenue as much as possible. Thank you so much. Now let's accept promotion. By Jupiter, the savages of Britannia have never seen the likes of Londinium. Claudius the god, who showed those islanders the edge of Roman swords so long ago, is surely smiling on us. I just noticed, by Jupiter. We can't build a Jupiter temple. Who is he talking about? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's going to be it for Londinium. That turned out pretty good, pretty good. Nice, big... You can in Augustus? Wait, you can? Wait, you can build a Jupiter temple in Augustus? You can dedicate a pantheon to Jupiter. Oh, I see, I see. It's added by the mods. It builds a statue in the middle. Ah, nice. Anyway, that's it for Londinium. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, that's good. Let, let's bring this to close. If you're watching this on YouTube, press the buttons on the screen right now. Join us on Discord. Discord.gg slash GamerZack. It was good. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye.